Championship. Both sides avoiding Premier League opposition at this stage. The winners know they will have a two-legged semi-final to come in January at the start of next year. A big, big occasion. Well done by Garrity. And that was a pull back there by Clark. Not only a free kick, but an early yellow card as well. Perhaps a little bit of rustiness from the man stepping into the side tonight. Chislett will fancy it himself here. Up over the wall and narrowly over the top of the bar. Well, plenty of his goals this season came at the weekend. Glover taking that one back inside his own penalty area. Signed from Melbourne City back in July. Probably a bit of a culture clash going from Melbourne to Middlesbrough. Dyke Steel. Middlesbrough switch the play. So Silvera to his right. Balassa. Housen has kept things ticking over in Middlesbrough's midfield for many years now. He'll go for goal, and the deflection takes it home. Such a big slice of luck for Middlesbrough. But you always need that in any cup run. The skipper delivers for the Borough. <laughs> Punching the air, just out of shot there. Against Southampton from the penalty spot back in September, but he was gifted far too much room there. And having hit it with enough power, it skipped up there, off the back of the stretching Jason Lowe. Hit it well enough, and then loop. Beating Connor Ripley all ends up. Here is Ripley playing a bit of a different role to his old man. That's given away, and Middlesbrough could be in again here. Rogers cuts it back. Rogers 2 0! Silvera, it was who pulled it back to the edge of the area, and Morgan Rogers stroking it home. Middlesbrough well on their way to the semi-finals already. With such a cool, composed finish. But it was that ball out from Ripley that caused problems for Barmer. Sam Silvera pulling it back and Rogers in exactly the right place with exactly the right finish. Silvera with lovely disguise on that ball. And Rogers beating Ripley all ends up. He's the outright scorer in this competition now this season. And oat cakes are plenty in this part of the world, the local delicacy. Beans, cheese, sausage, bacon, you choose, everyone has them. Oh, well, fueled on them, here they come. Divine. And a chance here for Chislett. Right the way across, and that had to go in from Massey. It looked like an easy chance, and it was to a certain extent, but the ball had height, it was too low for the header and slightly too high. Slipped on by Conor Grant, Chislett right the way across. And it did look easy to score for Gavin Massey. He was stretching. Just caught it on the top of his boot. It's very much the green campaigner in this side. Always doing his bit for the environment. Arblaster. Chislett. Grant. Too high for Massey. Was that handball there? Certainly looked to strike the arm of Rogers. He was at very close quarters. Look at this replay. 
Michael Salisbury waving away any appeals from the Valiants. Grant it was with the cross. And through it came to Rogers. It did hit his arm, no doubt about that. But certainly off another body part first. Dyke Steele. Had a good year, made his debut for Suriname back in March. Formerly capped at youth level for the Netherlands. Rogers. Crooks. Matt Crooks! Bruno! And Middlesbrough surely heading for a place in the semi finals of the Carabao Cup. Burn his chance in the first half, but he wasn't going to let that one go. And already plenty of Paul Bell fans losing faith and heading for home. Not too sure about the celebration. Nicely crafted by Middlesbrough. Crooks got his space and Ripley was left standing. Tidy finish. And Matt Crooks sliding in number three. And second goal in this competition this season. Well, legendary Paul Bell boss John Rudge in the crowd tonight. They were talking about famous nights they'd had here in the past. He beat Terry Venable's Tottenham side in front of over 20,000 here back in 1988. He did say he may have let the fire brigade in to test their hoses out before kickoff, just to give the pitch a little bit of a watering. Rogers opens up. Engel in here, and nearly a debut goal for Kavanagh. What a moment that would have been for the youngster. With a chance right in front of goal. Engel found him. Well, not too many of them will have been here the last time Middlesbrough came to town when Paul Merson knocked in the winner after just two minutes here in 1998. They have won six of the last seven games between these two sides. A rare win was for Port Vale in 1994 when Lee Glover scored the winner here. This looks like it could be a more severe injury than maybe we first thought. So McCabe comes on. Made a two-minute league debut against Preston last month in a 4-0 win for Middlesbrough back at the Riverside. Signed a new contract with the club earlier this month as well. He was a regular in the under-18s last season. Silvera here, firing it straight at Ripley. Silvera always wanted to go inside. And hit it straight down the... McCabe, Middlesbrough are through to the semi-finals of the League Cup. Michael Carrick made changes ahead of this one, but in the end he got the formula right. Housen with the first after 12 minutes, a big deflection it had as well. But the captain celebrating early on. Morgan Rogers would score a second before going off with a serious looking injury in the second half. The Middlesbrough fans were enjoying themselves at that point. But this time was wrapped up eight minutes into the second half as Matt Crooks swept in number three in front of the away end. He went off as a sub late on but played his part, firing Middlesbrough into the last four of the competition for the first time in 20 years. They have more Premier League opposition to look forward to in the new year. It's going to be a busy month in January for them. They applaud those who travel down from Teesside to Port Vale. And no must be said, the first time ever at the quarter-final stage. But this is where their journey ends. They just didn't have enough against the side for the higher division. Ethan Chisler and co stopped at the last day stage. But they could be proud of their efforts up until this point. Middlesbrough will go marching on. They're hoping now to get to Wembley. But first, a two-legged semi-final to take care of against Premier League opposition.
that to look forward to in 2024, but in one of their final games of the year, it is finished here at Vale Park. Port Vale nil, Middlesbrough three, Middlesbrough go through to the Carabao Cup semi-finals.